recall how many times I presented, I, I addressed you in that capacity in the early 1980s, a few years ago. I remember very well. To appreciate the unique privilege I have to make this special presentation to the U.S. Secretary of State, a brief journey into history may be helpful. Picture the scene. It was July 1982, a few years ago, 35 to be exact. <laughs> America had a new president, Ronald Reagan, and one of the first things he did was chose as his most trusted advisor as Secretary of State, a relatively young academic. You were younger then. Considering the by the well, uh, How old are you? <laughs> Just a few years yesterday. I'll be 97. Yes, very young. Amazing. We're getting older every day. Considering the volatility of the Middle East at the time, the identity of the U.S. Secretary of State, and the role he was to fashion for America to play was critical to the future of the region and for that matter of the world. After, at that time, I had the honor of being the chairman of the President's Conference and within that role, I interacted with the Secretary many times and they were really fortunate for me and of course for the stories I have to tell, not here today, to my, to my uh, family. Coincidentally, the secretary had a moot and I had a mutual acquaintance at my law firm. Fred Livingston, who was the head of the Labor Department, who had who was very familiar with you, uh, Mr. Schultz, since you served in the Nixon administration as not as Secretary of State, but as the Secretary of Labor, as I would call it and also director of the budget and also secretary of the treasury. And also running the show. <laughs> um, yes. uh, and um, when Reagan announced that Schultz, George as he called him, would be a secretary of state, Fred Livingston, my partner, came over to me and told me how lucky, lucky we were. And was he right? And was he right? He told me that George Schultz was smart, really smart, but more importantly, had a full skill set in mediation, which was very, very important for the continuation in terms of the Mideast. Um, he was a straight shooter. He told it like it was and said what he meant and meant what he said. And what a pleasure it was to deal with a man of such integrity. I just want to make give one incident of the type of person we're honoring today. Let me illustrate. It was um, in the early 80s, uh, during Mr. Schultz's tenure as Secretary of State, I received a phone call from the State Department. And they told me that the secretary had just returned, if I recall correctly, it was from Madrid, where he had met with uh, the foreign minister of Russia, Andrei Gomigo. And he wanted to sort of brief me on what occurred at that event. I naturally ran off to Washington. I flew to Washington in a plane. Uh, and when I met with him, he told me the following. He just said simply, I have promised you, when he said you, he meant not just me personally, that whenever we meet with the Russian leadership, we will raise the issue of the Soviet Jews. And I promised, and I kept my promise. I want to tell you something. I was in Madrid, and I spoke to Gromyko, and I told him about the plight of the Soviet Jews. And his answer was very simple. They're Russians, it's none of your business. It's just none of your business, stay out of it. And to me, it highlighted two things. One, the obvious thing. Number one, 
that it was the beginning of a long series of meetings and meetings and meetings until finally we know what happened. But it was a Secretary of State that made a commitment and kept his word. The second thing, which was much more important to me personally, is that he was, he was telegraphing to the leadership of the Soviet Union something very, very important, and that is that in the, the American agenda, the plight of Soviet Jewry stands out first, and will be there again and again and again until it's finally resolved. And it was especially that second uh, principle that uh, I admired, and which was much more important to me, as I say, and it's the kind of person that, um, that our honoree is. Now it is more than 30 years since those early engagements with the Secretary when Limud co-founder Chaim Chesler approached me about the privilege to participate in this honor. I realized I have never really had the opportunity to publicly thank the Secretary for what he has done, for what he has done for Soviet Jewry, for what he has done for peace in that region and the world. And to me, what is very important for keeping his word, and in politics, that's a major, major event. So today, it's an opportunity for us to honor the Secretary for his commitment to peace in the world and to do so publicly. With that, we offer him this gift as a tangible token of our appreciation. Long, long overdue. To George P. Schultz, Leewood FSU Honorary Award in honor of the outstanding efforts on behalf of the World Jewry, Julius Berman, President of Claims Conference. Savior, our Savior, George Schultz. Okay, then you don't 